Well, folks, it is the moment of truth. I am what I want to call done with my 16th Ertl Case RC Conversion. It's a 688 excavator. Um, started out as a sandbox toy, just like this one. I bought an extra to have extra parts just in case I mess up on something on this one. Uh, I can start over or use parts, but for now it'll be a shelf model. I did not build it to make a second one to sell. I have no intentions of selling this one. I have no intentions of building another one. Set that off to the side for now. Now, I Currently, I'm working on the mixes and whatnot, but I, it's good enough to run now. I have the hydraulics mixed so that it is only power on demand. So when, as soon as you pull the stick back, the pump is energized. I have it set up on a three-stage switch on the SWB switch. Uh, the first position is power on demand. The second is half. The third is all the way. Now, when you put it on the half, it actually, what it does is, uh, it will speed the pump up when you pull the stick. It'll run at about half speed, but uh, that way, uh, I got three different choices on how I want to run it. Uh, you get a little more power with the pump running all the time but there it drains the battery and uh, everybody ought to know about that but um, I'm just going to do I'm just going to do some quick functions here with it so Got my 360 rotation working. And uh, I actually slowed that down to about 60% on my uh, endpoints to slow it down a little bit. I'm using a 26 RPM gear motor with a 10 tooth pinion gear on a 48 tooth. So um, it really gears it down quite a bit and it runs it pretty slow. Gets some good power. I'm running 43 RPM gear motors on the drive. It's been a while since I've run an excavator, so my my uh, operating skills are not very good. One thing I want to do is I got to make a latch for the back door to. Uh, kind of keep it snug um, otherwise it just sits here and flops but uh, now when you go to dual function it does speed up the pump when you are uh, if you're if you're pulling two functions at once it does speed the pump up but if you're doing just one function it runs it pretty slow but once you go to do dual functions it runs it pretty quick but I haven't headed out digging. I'm not going to go out and dig in the mud with it. Or anything like that. There. She's ready for a trailer. Um, but otherwise, um, yeah, a 26 RPM motor that's I'm running on the uh, 26 RPM motor. I'm running on the, on the, on the slew. Uh, I am running 43 RPM gear motors on the track drives. 
Uh, the rear sprockets, I got them from Magom. They are for the uh, Bruder 320 um, RC conversion that they, they do, uh, which is in the Excavator series. Now, I've covered most all this stuff in my predecessor videos. Uh, the valve, I've got a mini three-spool valve in there, a small hydraulic pump, and a pressure relief valve that I'm running, and that was all purchased from Hydraulic Hobbies, uh, Cleo B. Uh, many of you in the RC hobby know Cleo. Um, I got all that stuff. I was having some problems with the valve sticking, um, and I had to go in and do a little bit of uh, massaging of the valve to get it to loosen up because it was way too tight and causing some nasty pressure spikes. And the valves were sticking, and I was bursting hoses, and uh, just all kinds of problems that I was having. But uh, uh, I think we got it all sorted out. Um, I'm kind of I'm excited to get it out and play with it this summer. Uh, I got to get my operating skills back to what they were because um, I don't do it as a profession. It's basically whenever I get my stuff out, that's that's when I get to play with it and, and get to exercise that knowledge, I guess. But uh, there it is, folks. Um, what I'm going to do, I will probably post this video after I get done posting it and I get some time, I'm going to go through and in the description box below, I will list some of the parts, where I got them, uh, what they are. Um, so if anybody is interested in any of that, I doubt anybody is ever going to build one of these. Um, and if uh, I had it to do all over again, I probably would not. But uh, it's such a small little living space for everything. And uh, it gets to be uh, quite uh, quite a challenge to get it in. As you can see, my operating skills aren't very good. <laughs> but, like I say, I don't do this for a living. So, uh, but uh, there you go, everybody. Hopefully kind of get some people excited about it. Uh, if you're not a current subscriber, please do so. Um, I have, this is going to be the 10th video on this machine. So if you have any other questions, maybe go back and watch those videos. Um, they're all listed under 16th scale case Ertl. They're under, all posted under my uh, YouTube channel. So there you go, folks. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. Um, I'll gladly, uh, you know, answer any of, as time allows. So there you go, people. Uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to step up and I'm going to actually take and get the camera and do kind of a panoramic run around of the machine. Okay. Okay, you kind of. Now that's a breather there for the hydraulic reservoir. The hydraulic reservoir is in here. Now I am powering it with a Turnigy 3S LiPo battery. Uh, I, I made a grab handle for the cab. I got a brooder operator in there. I put some joysticks. I put glass in the cab. Just some Lexon polycarbonate uh, glass that I glued in. I had thought about doing a door. But that may be down the line. Maybe I'll cut this all out and put a hinge door. Wouldn't be that hard to do. But I have no intentions of taking the operator in and out of it anyway. So, And if we come back here to the back, people. Yeah, just look how big my hand is compared to this machine. <laughs> um, it is a mess. There's the pump. There's the three-spool valve. The pressure regulating valves in there, my 10 channel ES, my 10 channel receivers in here, all the plumbing, everything is jam packed in there. But I'm running a Turnigy 3000 milliamp um, lipo battery. That's a 3S lipo for 3000, yeah, 3000 milliamp battery. Um, I was having trouble with the 
um, a battery's not lasting long with the pump turned on the on position. So uh, that's kind of why I went power on demand. So now I had thought about taking the cylinders off and painted them the case um, power tan, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm just going to leave them the way it is because that's all powder coated paint on there and then you paint over top of it and then may cause some problems but and those are hoina tracks that i've taken and machined the center bar out of and i've had some different people tell me that the hoina tracks are a different pitch than bruder or magom nope same pitch so and uh I got to add a little weight to it. I've got a panel that I can remove off the bottom and I'll probably put some weight in it. I really can't put any weight back here because I don't have any room to stick any. There's no room in that thing for anything because uh, underneath this cab, there are three Hobby Wing 1060 ESCs. Uh, one to run each track and then the third one to run the slew motor. So. It's pretty jam-packed in there. I thought about adding maybe some boom lights, but uh, where am I going to mount the switch for that? Eh. Anyway. So, hopefully everybody kind of enjoyed that little run around and uh, showing of the machine. Uh, I may have talked about things multiple times, but that kind of the way I, I go. I forgot what I said and whatnot, so... Anyway, catch you guys later. Get outside and have some fun with RCs, right? Well, hopefully someday. Because <laughs> eh, it's a muddy mess outside right now. And uh, is what it is, people. Catch you later.